Hey guys, what's up? Uh, me and Pringle back, and we are going into season two. I know we had a very short first season, but we're doing this one with a little bit of a change. Uh, yeah, so we've started a new world, and as you can see, we've got... Uh, this is actually, it's not too many items, is not enough items. I know it's weird, uh, but um, this is not going to allow us to cheat in, so when I click it, as you can see, I'm not, no, no items. Oh, wait, Jordan can, can you? Yeah, I can. But... Right, okay, then go into options when you open up your thing. Yeah. See what it's got, cheat mode. Yeah. Click on that until it says recipe, recipe. mode. I got it. Yeah, and then, I got it. then just delete whatever you just add then. Oh, yeah, I can see now it says nether gold ore. Yeah, just, just like, I would delete it, I deleted that yeah. nether gold ore. Yeah, it's, it's gold. It's gone. All right, okay, so as you can see, guys, we can't spawn in any items now, so we're not going to be cheating on this. We, even... Even if we do cheat, it's going to be cheating ourselves, and we'd rather not do that. But um, yeah. as you can see, a couple of the things have changed. Uh, we've got a load of new items, as you can see here. Absolutely loads of new items. And uh, yeah, this is Tech It. So um, we're going to be playing Tech It for them this series. Uh, hopefully we can keep this one going a little bit more than 10 episodes, but we got a little bit bored of the last one because legit Minecraft, there's not much you can actually do, but with Tech It, we got unbelievable amounts of things we can do so uh, I guess we'll get started we're gonna need to get some tools so like we do on every let's play let's just collect a bit of wood All right. Um, we can go into making uh, quarries if you have heard of them if you play tech it before um, so you, we can make quarries we can make uh, as, you, as the yogs cast are doing uh, recently they're making a Jaffa cake factory <laughs> But they're really just making cookies, but that, they, that's all going to be completely automatic. They're going to have um, a thing that's going to be making them cocoa beans so they can make them. They're going to have an automatic wheat farm and uh, automatic crafting tables so it'll craft the Jaffa cakes for them. But um, yeah, it seems pretty cool and we can make similar things. Uh, but we, can make, we can make diamond factories. I know it's a little bit overpowered, but... That's like longer down the line. It's gonna take us a couple of episodes to get to that stage yet. Um, one thing to note, you guys, you might think we're gonna be cheating, but I promise you that with the we're not. But we are gonna be doing a very lot. Oh uh, well, loads of mining off camera because one major thing about this mod is you literally are mining extreme amounts until you get to that stage where you can make diamonds because then you can uh, turn the diamonds into more or less whatever you need so um yeah until we get to that stage we're going to be mining a lot and we're going to be filling up say a double chest full of like different ores and stuff like that because we're going to need a lot of stuff to get started and get to those stages but um uh i gotta say off the top of my head, a couple of mods that are in this mod pack, it's uh, Industrial Craft, well the main big ones are Industrial Craft, Red Power, Build Craft, uh, Not Enough Items, uh, Inventory Tweaks, which more or less allow me to click R in my inventory, as you can see if I add like, a load of different items around there, I click R and it'll sort all my items in my inventory. Um, I've got this not enough items, which more or less, if I hold, if I hover over it and press U over an item, it'll show me the uses of that item. If I go over it on this, um, on the pages over here and I click R, it'll show me the recipes for that item. So to make glowstone, if I press R, it'll show me that I need four glowstone dust, just like that. So we're going to be using this for like things like the energy condenser. So I'll just go like that and say I didn't know um, how to build one of them, I click R. Oh, after press and enter, uh, click R, and as you can see, it shows you here uh, what you need for the energy condenser. So we need four diamonds, an alchemical chest, four obsidian. For the alchemical chest, you need a diamond, covalent stuff, stone, iron, and chest. So, yeah, that's one of the items that's going to help us reach, well, getting a load of different, um, load of diamonds and stuff like that, but that's obviously longer down the line. Is this like oil? It's black. Yeah, that is actually oil. It's uh, that's build craft fuel. Um, we basically. Do you do? I'm just still chopping down some trees. 
Oh. The um the oil is used as a fuel, so we're gonna be uh we'll probably find another spot because I'm not sure if we want to build in the desert right there. But um, where are you two? I'm gonna just grab some sugar cane. All right, you're over there. Okay, but yeah um yeah like sugar cane is a very good idea because we can make uh I know it sounds weird, but after we make a huge um you know if we made a huge sugar cane farm, we could turn the sugar canes into yeah. diamonds. Oh yeah. So we're gonna be ne needing that. That makes that means extreme amounts of sugar cane. But um, oh that's a good place to start as well. I can see a swamp biome over there where it looks like uh because. What's gonna... over there, Aaron? On uh, this stuff. Oh, this is a volcano. See, guys. By the way, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm very new to this, which is good for you guys because you get to learn as I learn. Uh, so yeah, this is yeah. a volcano. is a very, very badly generated. Usually they do go up on like a like a normal shaped volcano, like a big point. But this is really bad for some reason. I think it's because it's in a desert. Is this obsidian? No, this is um a basalt. So ah. basically, it is the is like new block that uh, red power adds. So the first thing we want to do is go over to this. Uh, well, I'm going to make a craft... Oh, no, i got a crafting table. I'm going to make a basic wooden pickaxe. And we'll get some stone because I hate having uh, wooden tools. So, are you using the crafting table? Yeah, I'll use it now. Uh, okay, I'll just run over here then. And we'll just make a quick... Just a little diggy down hole so we can... Grab a couple of stone, sandstone as well. Nice. I will right, we'll just grab it from here. Just needed it. Oh god, <laughs> not good. Um. You know, just take a few of them. So yeah, just grab a bit of stone, and we'll make some stone tools straight off the bat. So yeah, once again, like this, like the last series. Um. We're going to be starting off very slow, uh, collecting our normal resources, um, etc. Making our tools, making a starting house. But um, yeah, we, I'm going to keep this running until we get like a starting base, hut, whatever we want to call it, up and running, and then we'll upload it, whatever uh, length it is. Okay. So um, yeah, 16 should be all right to get us a couple of tools for now. So I'm going to make a uh, a pickaxe. I'm going to make a sword. Um, I'm going to make an axe because we're going to need to collect a lot of wood as well off the off the bat. And I'm going to mm. make a shovel as well, just for the lols. <laughs> right, okay. So we got a couple of things like that. Now let's go and collect some more wood. I know it's boring, but it needs to be done. Did you didn't make any tools for me. Oh no, do you need some? Yeah. Okay, I'll I can make you a an axe because we're gonna definitely need one of those, and I'll make you a sword. I haven't got enough to make you a pickaxe though as well as that. No problem. We'll collect some later on as well. Um, oh, that's it, sword. Tabby. All right. Oh God. <laughs> there you are. Okay, so we are going to collect some. Right, I'm going to show you one one little thing as well while we're over in this swamp biome because it's the best place to find them. Should we pick up them brown mushrooms? No, there's no need for it right now. Um, right, see this tree right here. Yep. It's like a greyish color wood, right? Yeah. And up on top, if you look on the leaves, there's three blocks right in the middle leaves, right at the top. They come over here by me. You'll see it. You can see the three blocks on top of leaves, so it just sticks up a single column. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What that means is this tree is a rubber tree. Let me oh, just turn yeah. this rain off a sec, because it's really annoying. Uh, How do you turn your weather off? Weather clear. Right, I've just done it. It's fine. Right. So this tree is a rubber tree. Um... So we're gonna be able. To, we're gonna be uh, using this. Oh yeah! Remember if, you showing me this. If we look this. around, we might be able to see a sticky resin spot. Yeah, right yeah. here, by here, Come on this side. See, like oh, there's yeah, one there on is. the floor, but there one on the bottom log, and one up there as well. 
they are, be they are sticky resin spots which you use tree taps. Yeah, you got the crafting table, haven't you? Yeah. You can't get down with you. Right, yeah. Alright, okay, so this is how you make a tree tap. You literally use uh, one in the bottom left if you want to make one as well, George, with some wooden planks. Alright, then one in the bottom left. Uh, one in the middle left. Well, all the way across the middle. Alright, yeah. And one in the top middle. Oh, yeah, and I got it. That makes a tree tap. And then, I have if you come over here then, and you, you right click these resin spots, so mm -hmm. I'll just right click the top one, you can right click the bottom one. See oh, then? yeah. Uh, it sticky makes resin. sticky resin. So we're gonna completely. Usually you only click this once if you're making a sticky resin farm, but because I'm just chopping down this tree, I just clicked it a load of times so I can get the maximum out of it. So now I'm just gonna chop down, and sometimes the sticky resin uh, drops as well. But basically, I got three. basically this sticky resin is used to make rubber when you smelt it, or when you uh, get an extractor and you put it in the extractor. So when you smell sticky resin, it'll be a one-to-one -one ratio. So one sticky resin equals one rubber. When you put it in the uh, the extractor, it's a one-to-three ratio. So it's one sticky resin, three rubber. So as much yeah. as soon as we get the extractor, it's much better off for us. So I'm just gonna grab these uh, rubber tree saplings as well because we're gonna need them to make a farm. Oh, lovely! Three rubber tree saplings so far. Oh, there's a creeper over here. Okay. Oh look there's lots of sheep around, let's grab some I wool. I and... killed him. It's sulfur any useful. Yeah, grab it anyway. I got we're gonna, sulfur. We're gonna need it for like the some of the equipment exchange items like the um Nova Catalyst. Oh yeah. Which is extremely good because uh basically it'll dig out a huge area just using glowstone. Like extreme oh. areas, I mean, really, really big. Right, I got enough yeah. for two beds now. Okay. Has it dropped any more saplings? Come on, yummy, yum. Oh, there's some sugar here, and I'll go and grab some. Alright. So, oh, and there's coal by you. Yeah, grab it. We're gonna need yeah. literally every single inch of coal that we find. Ow! Oh, there's a scary after. Oh, scary spider. Okay, no more drop from there. Um, I got spider iron string. So I'm gonna just gonna carry on collecting a bit more wood. Uh, I think I'm gonna skip this, guys. I'm literally gonna be collecting a bit of wood to start our main house at this, uh, to start off. So um, we'll be right back now, guys. Hey guys, we're back. Um, collected a bit of wood. Got a bit more rubber wood. Four rubber tree saplings. A lot of normal saplings. But yeah, we'll get started on the house now, so I'm going to turn this into planks. We're just going to do a basic hut to get started. Um, we don't need it too big, we just need a little plan of action. Why the Should I turn the rubber wood into uh, planks? No, 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 no. Do never use rubber wood for planks. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I think eight will do. Let's do nine. Nine by nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I don't know why that's gone like that. Ugly plank. Right, um Get a stack of sixty four of this. Oh, I got another stack of this. Anyway, um okay, so let's just break a hole here for the door. And off we go. Another cool thing with this mod, um let me just let me just show it. So say I only got uh, one of that item left in my bar. As soon as I empty it out, it'll put another item in there for me. It'll put the other, say the wood I need in there. So it's a oh, good yeah. thing. Like it automatically changes over, so I don't have to like go into my inventory, switch it over. Blah blah blah. blah. So go like that. Go like that. Go like that. That, da, 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 da. that over there. Bring that over like that. Bring this over. Oh. I think that'll do for now. We just need to make a little bit of a roof for you now. We only need a really, really basic hut just to survive for 
first couple of episodes while we mine, more or less. Just need like a storage shed. Oh, I hate it when it goes like that. So it's just to the wrong wood. Right. Voila. Let's fix these messed up ones. Okay. And place that there. Let's mark out this side here. Have you got a crafting table? I think so. Uh, right, I got coal. Yeah, I got us. Okay, so we'll plonk down that there. Um, I haven't got many cobblestone though. I haven't even got enough to make a thing. Um, yeah, I use eight torches. So we'll just just make a one of our normal mines. But this time, instead, we'll just do a spiral staircase until we get our ladders, because there's no need to waste our thing. Uh, this is why we're starting a um, a mine so early, because this mod requires a lot of mining, and that has got to be said. I ain't got a shovel. Chuck so, me up some stone, Aaron. I will now, two seconds. I'll just grab a couple pieces. Are we not doing our 3x3? Three three? Oh, we are. Yeah, this is. Oh, I thought you were doing just, the stairs down. It is. It's a spiral staircase. It is still a 3x3, three three, but it's just a spiral staircase until we get enough ladders because we don't want to waste wood right now. Yeah. Alright. I mean, in the future, we'll have automatic tree farms and everything. So they're collecting us wood, they're making us diamonds, etc, etc. We're just living it's... a life with extremely powerful tools. and. <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, we should start to see some of the new ores as well that this mod adds, but, um, well, the different mods add together is a mod pack. I'll leave the link in the description to the Technic Launcher, which is what we're using right now, um, if you wanna, if you wanna go for it, um, I mean, if you wanna get it, then go for it, it's really fun, I recommend trying it out, so, um, yeah, go for it. Yep. Right. Let's grab a bit of all this and learn with me, guys. <laughs> because I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I mean, I, I'm not great on this mod. I, I know a bit because I've played it a while, but, um, yeah, um, we should learn together, really. I mean, I don't know all the recipes, which is half the reason why I didn't uninstall the not enough items, because it's really useful to be able to just search something up in the bar down here. Uh, hover over it, click R, and it shows you what the item is, so that's quite useful. Right, I just want to go up a bit, I mean, I make some... Oh yeah, Oops. and I turn PvP off as well, by the way. Oh, that's good. Yay! It's been I, I don't get in your way, and then you don't hit <laughs> <Yeah>. me. <laughs> yeah! We did that a couple of times. And the reason I turned it off, even though it was quite fun last time, well, we can have some extremely powerful tools in the future, and with those tools, it could be a one-hit kill, even on full health. And I know this one sword is a two-hit um, kill. Diamond. Is a two-hit kill with full health, full diamond armor. So I mean, come on, is is. No oh point. damn! But I didn't turn off mob kills. <laughs> You're still gonna die from that. Can I say do slash back? Or yeah, is that yeah, yeah. Yeah, go for it. I've, I'm allowing that because it's a uh, bucket server as well. Yeah, oh yeah! Oh my god, it's good! Yep. It's good. So when we I die, like... we just type slash back and he'll allow us to go back because this server is a little bit more advanced than our last one. Guys, definitely get this tech pack. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the bucket is my... Uh, the, the slash back is what I've put onto it as well. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's just a custom thing, is it? I put it in, yeah, as well. Oh, alright. Don't get acting packs, guys. I'm <laughs> uh, <laughs> <sucks>. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so we'll place down two furnaces and a double chest, I think. Right, I'm coming now. Well. And I think we'll call that our first episode. Not bad. We got a little shelter. Um. We got, our, some got our first sign of coal. Oh yeah, I collected some clay as well because I tell you what, we'll make a mod item straight away, should we? It'd be amazing. First episode, and we've already made a mod item. Right. So if I just what are we gonna make? Chuck in eight of those. I'm gonna make an uh, an alloy furnace, which is a red power item, a red power furnace more or less. 
and that's used to make a load of red power items such as uh, wafers, um, a load of different things really. But one thing I'm really gonna do right now because I'm scared that a skeleton or a creeper will see us through this and blow up or shoot us. So I'm gonna block the windows up for now until we get sand and glass, etc. There we go, we're safe. Um, so yeah, what, what this requires is eight bricks. So this is gonna, this means eight of these um, brick blocks. So there's one. Uh, we basically crafted like a normal furnace except with um, bricks. So I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna pause the video a sec guys because I don't wanna go too far. Um, I'm gonna wait until this is fully smelted. We got the eight brick blocks. And uh, we'll craft our first mod item. Uh, I'll see you in a minute, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. I've got my eight bricks. And let's just chuck those in here like a normal furnace. Just like that. And that gives us the alloy furnace. Uh, this machine we'll plonk down by there. And basically, uh, this is the interface. We've got the fuel there, so we put coal in by there. And then we combine two items usually in this part here. So we could put in, say, copper or iron with redstone to make uh, red alloy ingots, which I'll show you here. Red alloy. There we are, red alloy ingots. See, you can see you either do redstone and iron or copper and redstone. And then you use the, f uh, you get three of those. Uh, and then those three red alloy ingots you put downwards like that and you make red alloy wire and that is extremely good I love the stuff basically it's like redstone wire except it can go up walls you can put it up walls you can and then you can make uh, a thing called a hand saw and you can chop blocks up until like they got really they're really really thin and you can make covers so you can put the wire in inside a wall inside a one block thick wall and you wouldn't even see it at all and it's just so much good. It's so good, like the different things you can make. So um, yeah, I guess we'll call that an episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, and I hope you enjoy the many things to come that we'll be building on TechIt. So um, yeah, yeah, I hope you're not too annoyed that we started a new uh, le uh let's play. But I guess I'll, I'll I'll understand that you might be a little bit annoyed, but hopefully you're not too much because this is gonna be extremely fun. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll, oh, we'll see you next time. And, um, I hope you enjoyed. Peace out, guys. Peace! <laughs>